Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to our monthly report on real estate listings on realestate.co.nz. Welcome into our studios, Alistair Helm, who's the chief executive of realestate.co.nz. And every month, Alistair compiles a report looking at how many listings have come on, what the average price was for those listings, and what's happening with inventory. So we'll launch straight into it, Alistair. A mm. quick look at what's happened with the asking price, seasonally adjusted in the realestate.co.nz monthly report. On an upward trend in the last year and a half or so, and a bit of a jump in February. Significant when you, you as you note, it's seasonally adjusted. I think we've almost kind of been looking for an explanation for a good number of months as to why the asking price has not been responding to what the market is doing at the moment, which is showing a lot of activity. And this month we've seen a significant uh, jump there, really, from uh, you know the, just under 420 up to 426,000. And as you say, the trend is definitely beginning to show quite an upward spike on that. It is asking price, so it's about expectation. And obviously, we've yet to see what that will result out in sales for the next couple of months. Moving on then to what's happening with new property listings, a real surge in February. What's, what's the story there? Well, again, it was, I guess, in some ways foreshadowed because the sales of property have been consistently growing for the last seven months. We saw the final quarter of last year up 22, January up 25%, big leaps. But inventory was being compressed because new listings were not coming on the market. And as that chart shows, you know, in December and January, it was it was flat. It was really quite almost dire in some areas of the country. And there was you sense that there had to be a, an unblockage of a, a holdback. And that seems to have happened in February. 13,800 is, is significant. It's one of the biggest months we've seen going back. But actually, you know, it's got to be seen in perspective. Go back as I look today. February 2008, four years ago, 18,500 listings. So 13,800 seems massive in relative terms, but you know, when the market was in its booming times, we could have 18, 20,000 listings in a month. So it is getting better. We're seeing a better uh, flow of property on the market, no doubt about it. So what's that done then to uh, inventory? This is the number of listings versus the, uh, the average week, uh, monthly sales. Yeah, and, and interesting because having talked about how we've seen this uh, almost a surge of new listings, it's not resulted in inventory going up. Inventory has barely moved. It's gone from 36.4 to 36 weeks equivalent rate of sale. Now, what that is saying is all of that new listings come on the market, but there's good demand that's taking property off the market. So it, it effectively means inventory hasn't changed, which means that there's still pressure. And it is the pressure that exists in the Auckland market, the Wellington market, the Christchurch market, where... Uh, generally in those markets you've got a seller's market you have not got sufficient new listings to meet the demand so obviously looking at the history here through mm. 2010 the inventory went above the long-term average which yep. means that it's more of a buyer's market exactly underneath that average you'd argue it's more of a seller's market very much so and it's interesting because if you go back to midway through 2011 there was almost a sense we were beginning to we'd seen the bottom and we were picking up an inventory and then when the sales really picked up that last seven months has seen a slipping of inventory and this is what's driving it is demand we're seeing a situation where there is consistent steady demand now again it's not right across the country but in aggregate terms that demand is strong and that's what's driving this 20% month, year-on-year -year monthly sales through the Real Estate Institute. Just looking now at the various different parts of the country, firstly, uh, asking prices, um, some strength in certain areas, obviously Auckland, mm -hmm. uh, Bay of Pliny, Manawatu, Whanganui. Can you give us some sense of the themes here in terms of asking prices? Well, the, the point I didn't make earlier, the, the asking price nationally is a new peak. Uh, it is up on the October peak of last year. So it's, it's kind of holding at that high level. Auckland is as close as you can get to another peak. Uh, the last peak was actually of 556,000. So asking price is strong. They're up 3% or 2.6% against this time last year. Um, Wellington is strong. Those kind of markets are pointed out again. Canterbury, although not showing a year-on-year -year increase, is at, at a, 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 you know, a high level as well. And interesting, as you point out, some of those pockets. Marlborough, a high level of pricing. Nelson, particularly, has seen an incredibly large wow. increase in asking price. 15.3%. 15% in, in, in the comparative months on that. So, but then again, you're seeing other areas, the Hawke's Bay, the Coromandel, Wairarapa, Southland, and then extremely Taranaki West Coast, down 
on, on last year pricing. Interesting mix in there. Uh, that was clear in the National Bank's survey of economic activity that the West Coast was underperforming relative to the rest of the country right. okay. in, in economic terms and yeah. relative strength in the South Island and in Auckland, which yeah. is reflected through in those asking prices. Mm. Then looking at the number of listings uh, to show how much is coming onto the market and some, again, big improvements. This is from yeah. from uh, a year ago, February right. 2012 versus February well, 2011. This is a classic situation where you know the colour determines whether it's a... Uh, an increasing level of new listings or a decreasing, and we've only got one reach in the country in the Coromandel, which year on year is actually lower. Everything else, the dark green being the extreme where you're going over 20% year on year growth, you've got Bay of Plenty 36, uh, Northland 38, you've got 50% increase in Marlborough, and Canterbury 31. Now that's good because Canterbury has been sitting at really significantly low. Uh, levels of inventory and a strong demand. It, it's it's a new base for Canterbury, but it's an active base and it's certainly seeing new listings come on. Alistair Helm there, thank you very much for coming in, Alistair, with our monthly report on real estate listings on realestate.co.nz. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz.